Hey big crafters, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. I'm Batman. So you're Batman now? <sighs> Not again. I don't have time for this. And my back still hurts since the last time. Oh, so your body is back. No. Your man, I then? Don't, I don't have time for this. Oh, you think that messes your life? No, but my car is. Hey, I'm Wilfred. I used to work in the movie industry as a professional steady camera operator until I discovered that I could make pretty much any of the movie props that I love using pretty much only that. That's incredible! Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the Batman call from the Dark Knight saga using only cardboard, black paper, and some sheep speckle. Of course, you'll find the complete list of everything I used in the description box below, as well as all templates necessary for you to make this impressive mask yourself at home. And now, let's dive right into the video. The first thing to do is cutting out the templates that you'll find in my shop in the description box below. Using a regular glue stick, glue them on your cardboard. And cut the pieces using a precision knife, a box cutter or a very sharp scissor. You'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. Start by cutting the piece number one, crush the corrugations with your fingers to make it more malleable, and close the notches with glue. To do so, I used a cheap 15 watt hot glue gun that I bought from Amazon. Don't forget that you'll find all products and tools that I use in the description box below this video. Next, cut the piece number two, the same way you did for the piece number one, crush the corrugations, and glue the notches together. Then glue this edge here on the edge of the piece number one of a hair. Cut the piece number three, crush the corrugations and glue the notches, and glue it underneath the piece number two of a hair. Cut the piece number four, crush the corrugations and glue the notches, glue it here on this edge, glue the piece number five here, but position this one in a light angle, and do the same for the piece number six underneath, and glue them together on this edge here in an angle as well. Glue the piece number 7 on this side here next to the visor and the piece number 8 on the top of her hair. Next, cut the piece number 9, crush the corrugations and fold it on the red lines here using a ruler. Close the notch and glue these two edges together. And glue it on the back of the mask, this edge flush with this edge here. And of course, glue the rest of it on the mask as well. Next, cut the piece number 10, close the corrugations and close the notches, and glue it on the back here to close the opening. And using the reverse template, make another one exactly the same way and glue them together on the edges that way. As many of you know already, this is the third Dark Knight prop I made on this channel so far. The other two being the Tumblr and Ben's mask. Not enough. So do you want me to make more props from that saga? And if yes, what? Tell me in the comment section below. Cut the piece number 11, fold it on the red line here, close the notches, and glue it in the middle here to make the nose. Then glue the piece number 12 on the side here, and the reversed one on the opposite side. Now at this point, if you see that this opening here is too narrow for your head, don't hesitate to remove a few centimeters from the back and the sides so that you can put your head in it quite comfortably. Also, remove the cardboard inside the nose to make room for use. Then, glue a piece of cardboard underneath here. With your precision knife, remove wet exits and make two holes to make the nostrils. Now, because of the design of that mask, you probably have a significant gap on the back. Glue as many pieces of cardboard as you need to fill that gap so that your face is pushed toward the front and that way. Now, to smooth out all the small imperfections like the corrugations here, apply a layer of sparkle on the entire mask. To do so, I used regular silicone spatulas, the same kind you'd use to make a cake. But if you don't want to bother with that, just skip that step and apply the black paper directly. Of course, the mask will be a little bit less smooth that way, but you still end up with a very cool mask at the end. Also, don't hesitate to use a wet sponge to smooth the past a little bit, let it dry, and smooth it even more with sandpaper. Good, 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 good. 
then make a mix of white glue and water. Tear up pieces from a black paper, soak them into the mix of white glue and water, crush them to make them more malleable, remove any excess of glue, and recover the entire mask with them. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, if you want to learn how to make other props from the Dark Knight saga, like Ben Mask, the Tumblr, out of your cardboard boxes, click this playlist right here. And of course, subscribe if you are not already, and click the notification bell so you don't miss my next epic build with cardboard. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next one.